Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, today our video is going to be me breaking down badges. Right now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just running around trying to get the uh, travel 26.2 miles in the city, basically, until I start talking. Because you want like a spawn location and we could just spawn in front of the Pro Marina. But that has nothing to do with nothing. I was just telling y'all so y'all ain't think I was just running around looking like an idiot. But basically today, I'm going to be giving y'all the badge breakdown on every single badge that matters. Might just talk about every single badge. Which ones is OP? Because a lot of people don't even know which ones are the best badges in every category. Like a lot of people didn't know Mismatch Expert is the best, the best badge on the game. Like stuff like that. Little stuff like that. So I'm going to be just... You know, twinkling your knowledge on certain things that you may or may not know. What badges are needed and why you are just not performing in certain areas. And you and you just don't know that you're not performing in that area. Why? Because you don't have the badge. If you had the badge, you'd probably be performing in that area. Little stuff like, why when you get a rebound if you're a center, you can't pass it out quickly? Oh, because you need post playmaker. Why do I dunk slow every single time I catch the ball off the road? Oh, because you need fast twitch. You feel me? This game is more of a badge-based game than attribute-based game until we get to the shooting badges. So, let's get straight into it. The third seed in Jazz Gaming at point guard from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's splashy! <laughs> start off with finishing badges right on my point guard build i won't have every finishing badge but i know all of the badges and i'm still going to talk about them so let's start with limitless takeoff limitless takeoff is a s tier badge in finishing i'm gonna be giving you like if, if it's like the best badge i'm gonna let you know like it's a must have this is a must have badge limitless takeoff is an s tier badge and it's basically just you dunk from further so like say you're playing competitive in whatever your respective game mode is and you try to go up you can go up from further depending on what it, you have it on. So this needs to be on at least silver plus, or else you won't really be dunking and your rim runs will most likely get blocked. Limitless Takeoff is a must-have badge, so make sure if you don't have it, you put it on. <clears throat> Next badge, Pro Touch. The layup timing has been glitched for the last probably four to five years, which is why everybody turns their layup timing off. And to turn your layup timing off, if you never knew, you go to Options, you go to Settings, you go to my bad you go to controller settings where it says shot timing you just put your shot timing on shots only and they'll time your layups for you which is na you still miss some but you won't have to time it because the layup timing is glitch i still have mine on because i'm trying to be optimistic and think pro touch will work this year even though it probably won't but yeah so pro touch literally would be op if you know you could time your layup but it's just gonna say late so it doesn't matter Teardropper. Teardropper is a badge that I've been told actually is OP this year, but chase downs are OP too, so I think if you throw a teardropper in the air, you're going to get it smacked off the backboard, so not a must. these two are not must-have badges. Lob City Finisher, I think you're fine with it on bronze. Uh, the PG can have on special delivery. If he doesn't have on special delivery, lobs seem pretty easy to time if you know how to time them at the moment from what I've seen, so you only probably got to have it on bronze if you're a big man or a small forward slasher, anything of that capability not a must-have badge put back boss must have badge for centers at this moment right now your shot attributes go up off every single rebound and it helps you get standing contacts which are the more reliable contacts this year it helps you get standing contacts like with your square button or with just pushing the right stick up you don't have to push it down you don't have to time it put back boss is surprisingly op this year for big men because it's been useless for the last five years must have badge if you're a big man unstrippable a stripper boy isn't really a badge that I've seen needed to be used at the moment, but if you are a center power forward or a small forward, like lockdown, power forward center, you should probably put this badge on because people are spamming. If you've tested it versus any AIs, like even in my career, even in my team, quick match regs, every time you try to go up off a switch, they, they get the strip animation. So a stripper boy is supposed to counteract that. So I'd say this is like a test it out type badge. Like I'm not really sure if this badge is going to work. So test it out to see, because unpluckable is the best badge on the game. You feel me? So, and this has the same wording as it. Posturizer, <clears throat> you cannot really make a build this year with 99 dunk, and it'd be just an amazing build all around. So posturizer is not going to be able to get Hall of Fame, but posturizer is not the best badge for getting contact dunks. It's just your chances of throwing down the dunk 
and I've been trying to figure out with my people if posterizer helps you make dunks that are not green with your right stick or make the slightly late dunks because you miss a lot of dunks if it's not really green when you use the right stick so I'm trying to really figure it out but posterizer on whatever the highest you can go put it on slithery slithery finisher is actually the best contact dunking badge this was figured out last year on next gen must have badge literally it it last year on next gen 21 you could get taken out of two contacts and it would push you into a third contact and it does that a little bit this year is just you the timing changes mid dunk slithery changes your dunk animation when taken out of it or gives you a wacky dunk animation when perfect contact is upheld in your face must have badge another slashing badge is like acrobat you're gonna get it smacked off the backboard so acrobat is not a must need badge fast twitch for big men you're gonna need that badge 150 percent because if you are a center and you catch it off the roll you need to dunk and for you to standing dunk quickly you're gonna need fast twitch i'm going back to my running because i don't know i can't show you those badges yet fearless finisher that's like contact layups, contact dunks, help you finish in when your stamina is a little bit lower. I think you should get that on like a low tier, like a bronze or silver. Wouldn't say it's must have, but yeah. Let me think. Grace under pressure. Grace under pressure, I don't really think you need that badge. I hope you don't need that badge, but if, if it seems you need grace under pressure, then you could put it on a lower tier. It's not really a must need in my opinion at the moment, but I'm not a big fan, so yeah. Back down Punisher, that's been on the game for a while. Off switches, off mismatches, anything of that capability. Center who's smaller than you, you can put it on half or gold. You can back him down to the paint, turn around and put it up. Back down Punisher has always been usable, but it's never used. Uh, so that's up to you if you want to put on back down Punisher. Dream Shape, Drop Stepper. Those hook specialists, those are post-spin technician. Those are all post-score badges. Everybody knows what those do. Are they OP this year? I don't know. Are they not OP this year? I really can't tell you. <clears throat> what else? Lob City finisher. I already went over that. Mouse in the house. If you have a center that is smaller than you, like say you make a 7 foot and he's 6'11", or you get a switch and the lockdown switches on you, or the, the smaller defender switches onto you, you, can, you are supposed to be able to just turn around and go up on him if you have Mouse in the House. Mouse in the House is needed on some smaller tier, just so, like, it, it's there. Another badge is, like, Giant Slayer. You don't really make contact layups on this game, so I wouldn't say it's needed. Rise Up, an 150% needed badge at the center position because it's just, it's your standing dunks. You catch the ball under, you don't want to do a standing layup, you want to do a standing dunk. So, those are basically all of the finishing badges that I can think of off the top of my head. And they're the ones that were like, that I feel are needed, then are not needed. Now, let's get to the most important badges. Check me out. Whoopsies. Shooting. Now, shooting this year is very confusing because some of the badges that are told to work do not work and do not pop up right now. So, let's start. Let's start with blinders. Blinders is and was the best badge to ever get introduced into a game ever. Next Gen 21 people were walking around walking around doing whatever they wanted to do. You could shoot in between four people if they were on your side. You could shoot off one person if they were on your side. Crab side, contest, anything of that nature, you could shoot blinders. This year, unless it's OP on Hoff, blinders does not work from what I've tested. This for all my shooting guard, point guards, etc. Blinders doesn't work from what I've tested. I shoot the same shots I shot last year. I'm almost finishing my Hall of Fame blinders build because this is my Hoff blinders build. But it just, it just doesn't work. Will it work eventually? I hope so, but it doesn't work right now. Circus threes, step back shots like we're only OP-ish on Next Gen 21. They're not really that OP this year. I, they're, I wouldn't even say they're tough to time. It's just a waste of time doing it, so I won't say it's a must-have badge. Blinders is also not a must-have badge at the moment. Dead eye. Now, with the new contest system that I've seen where 5%, 9%, 12% are basically 25s and 30s, and the contest system has gotten minimized but also maximized be by lower numbers, meaning you efficiently got a better contest, Deadeye is a must-have S-tier badge at this moment. Even though you have to have like Hall of Fame to get the best tier of it because it's like a, 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 a 95, a 95, 99 rating for Hall of Fame Deadeye, this is a must needed badge, 5,000%.
put dead eye on it will pop up every time you shoot any shot that's over a five green machine green machine is like a placebo based badge i've seen people use green machine i've seen people not use green machine sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's more up to you i always had it on just because like i like it popping up after you green any badge that pops up when you green i usually like them <clears throat> so green machine is a you opinionated badge lucky seven lucky seven a lot of people don't even know what this badge does this badge is an op badge without people knowing because it gives you a boost to your mid-range and three-point attempts within the first seven seconds of a possession. Now, I know you're thinking, I'm not even going to go up in the first seven seconds. I got to get up court. Disclaimer, it pops up for fast breaks, too. That's why Lucky 7 is an OP badge right now. I think it's a must-have badge on at least silver silver plus, just so it can pop up and give you like your little three-point boost, three, three attribute boost, five attribute boost, anything of that nature. I just think it's one of the best badges because on fast breaks, it's gonna pop up because that counts as lucky seven. Set shooter, horrible. I'm not even gonna explain it to you. Unless you're gonna catch the ball away four seconds before shooting, horrible. Boom, stop and pop, must have badge. Off every quick stop, current gen or next gen version of the quick stops, and you stopping with the ball after dribbling period, it pops up. It does what it's supposed to do. It pops up every time you shoot. This is a must-have badge at this exact moment where we're at right now. <clears throat> Catch and shoot, not needed at all. If you want to put it on because you have no badge to put on, go ahead. Not needed in no way, shape, or form. It's up to you. It never really works like that unless you're like a pure sharp. Clutch shooter. Also, uh, how, how, how often are you in a two-point game in the fourth quarter and you want to waste a badge on it for that specific reason? Exactly. Not needed. Difficult shots, depending on your play style, if you still play like somewhat a shot creator and you want to shoot step back, spin, pull up, top step 360 shots, like a Ticino type person in the mid-range, please, by all means, go go ahead and do what you want to do with difficult shots. Uh, a lot of people have transferred from using middies and we don't shoot those specific type of middies. So, like, it's up to you. If you still play a midi based game, go ahead and put it on. If you don't, that's, that's all you too. High Zone Hunter pops up every single time you shoot. If you have your high zones, it's always going to pop up. Must have badge. Mismatch expert. The best badge on the game by a large margin. It is basically as OP as blinders was when it got introduced last year. Mismatch expert is basically blinders for guards over anybody that's three inches taller than them. That is, that is not their assigned defender. You have to be 6'4 or lower to get this badge anyway, so you know. I'm sorry, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 that you guys thought you could do it to a 7 foot. Mismatch expert is basically, I walk off the screen, if you hedge or step, because it says after forcing the switch, but no, if you step, I can shoot over you, literally. I can just press square and shoot over you, and it's not considered a bad shot unless you jump. But even if you jump, it's still considered a good shot because it because this is the best badge on the game. No matter what build you are, at the PG or shooting guard position, 6'4 and lower, have this badge on. It's the best badge on the game. Slippery off ball, that's up to you. A lot of you guys don't even know how to dex. If you do know how to dex and you are a pure sharp, just put it on bronze. It works just fine if you put it on bronze. Not must have. Volume shooter, also not a must have badge unless you're shooting 39 shots a game. It's not a must have badge. But if your play style adapts to the Russell Westbrook shooting attempt wise, put it on. Chef. Now, this is a badge a lot of people have been asking me about. It doesn't work. It doesn't pop up. Why do I have it on? It's because um, I'm just trying to prove to myself that I can't shoot without it. But I have played with mini guards, verse guards that do not have Chef or Limitless spot up on, and they're shooting from deep. But the thing is, Chef works in other game modes. Like, my team in quick match, Chef works. If you play with Steph Curry and Regs, he, it works. In my career, though, pro Am, park, stage, it doesn't work. So... You don't need to put it on. When they fix it, you'll need it in the count. It's supposed to count as any shot taken one second after dribbling, but that's more just when they do that. Will they do that? Who knows? I really have no idea. I hope so. And when they do, I'll put it back on. Corner specialist. Corner specialist has always been the glitch on silver. Like if you're a catch and shoot player, Always only put it on silver. Never go any higher than silver. No matter who you are. Oh my God, I can get it off. Oh my God, I can get it gold. Put it on silver. Never put corner specialist on silver because the boost of it going to golden hall is not enough to where you should waste badge points to get it over just having it on silver. 
Fade Ace. If you shoot post fades, you got it. That's all I can say. It's no more to say on it. This badge will always work. It's just, are you that cheesy or do you play regular? Fade Ace is up to you, post scorers. Limitless spot up. Literally the same as Chef. Doesn't pop up. It doesn't work. You probably have it on and like, oh my god, it popped up when I shot two times. I had it on gold, I had it on off, popped up twice, ain't pop up for the rest of the game. I think on this game, it's specific spots you can and can't shoot from this year, and that's why, like, it doesn't work. I don't, I don't know. Limitless, Spot Up, and Chef are literally useless. We do not have a badge right now that pertains to you shooting from Limitless, even though we have the badges, but it doesn't work in pro and my, with anything involving your my player, Limitless, Spot Up, and Chef don't work. Like, we all are wishing we just had like one limitless badge back, cause that always work. Deep threes always work, range extender always work, limitless range always work. These don't. But in regs and pro and my team, it definitely works. That's the confusing part. Rhythm shooter is when you're doing your size ups, basically like activating quick chain type stuff, like it basically pops up. I wouldn't say it's a must not have badge though. Stop and pop is better than that. So no rhythm shooter. Sniper, one of the most underrated badges, even though I've seen a lot of people making videos on it lately. Sniper pops up every time you time your shot good. Green, slightly early, slightly late. If it goes in, sniper pops up. It's supposed to give you a timing to your early, slightly early and slightly late. But if you shoot it early or late, which is a glitch on this game right now, like you can shoot your shot perfect and you'll get just the early late glitch, you receive a bad penalty for that. But Slightly early, slightly late green, pops up. Sniper must have badge at this moment. <clears throat> Let's go over to playmaking, baby. Now, ankle breaker, surprisingly OP. You literally can make people fall off just nothing. Nothing. Like, they just, they just get ankle broken. Literally nothing. Must have badge. Bullet passer. This year, bullet passer gold is like the, the Hall of Fame bullet passer from last year. And Hall of Fame bullet passer is like a rocket that's taken off from NASA to go get to the moon first. So, like, gold is perfect for guards this year, and you don't need Hall of Fame. So, if you are in, like, just thinking, like, bro, I can't get off, bro. I don't want to get off. You don't got to get off, bro. Just some of us PGs who are, like, more intrigued with passing will have off. But it's not a necessity this year in any way, shape, or form. Floor General. Everybody knows what Floor General does. Gives them plus to their attributes offensively. Like, does it work? It'll always work. It's just, are you putting your passing accuracy at 99 so you can get it off? No. Not a must-have. Have somebody else, like a power forward or block, put it on for you if you're playing a, in a higher game mode. Hyperdrive is, it speeds up the it speeds up your dribble moves coming up the court. Like, it could be transition. It could be breaking a press. As long as you're coming up the court and you're doing dribble moves, you do them faster. So hyperdrive can be silver or gold. I wouldn't say must have on gold, must have on like silver. Quick chain, gold or hall of fame, must have. When you are sizing up on an opponent, doing misdirection moves, size ups, anything of that nature, it pops up. It makes you dribble faster. The shorter you are, the way faster you dribble. So quick chain, must have badge. Special delivery got patched 55,000 times last year because it used to be you threw a flashy pass, you had team take off one flashy, and that was OD, so they nerfed it. Special delivery is useless now. Triple threat juke. Now, if you are an old head and you're Michael, wanna be Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, like, you got it, boss. You feel me? You 150% got it. I don't know anybody really doing triple threat moves, but hey, if you do it, it does work. You get it, you, you freeze them, but hey, that's that's you, buddy. Bail out. If any of y'all know who I am, 2K League, my team player, basically my team pro, 2K League pro, bail out has been my favorite badge ever since it got introduced. Basically, it allows you to want to have the green light on every shot, and you can pass out of it efficiently every single time, as long as it's on silver. Bronze you might throw a couple out of bounds. Silver, you'll never throw anything out of bounds. When you go up with a shot, you can throw it across the court, you can throw it to the row if you get baited, you can throw it to the hash, you can throw it to your same side corner. Best helpful badge. Like, I love this badge. Literally need it, 150%. Dimer has got, has been horrible since current gen. 
2K21 because Dimer started changing the shots and giving you slower catches. Glue hands is on the game now, so Dimer might be good, but Dimer, like, made your teammate shots speed up instead of, like, slowing down. So, Dimer's horrible. Glue hands. Silver if you are a catch and shoot player, gold if you are a point guard or center. It basically helps you catch the ball no matter what type of pass you have it doesn't freeze you so you can go so if you're a center you get those madden catches which is where the pass goes dumb high you catch it do a 720 start break dancing and do this and do that then that's just how it goes like blue hands is to help you specify that and do that a little bit better you catch the ball you do a 360 you dunk you catch the ball on the fast break, it's going to be a perfect, clean, crisp catch every single time. If you're a corner player, have it on silver, and you're going to catch it perfectly every single time. So glue hands is a must-have badge this year for every position. Needle threader, I haven't got to test it. Nobody's really got to test it yet. The lanes are surprisingly OB, OP defensively, so it's probably one of the better badges. When I try it, I'll let you know. But needle threader was good two years ago, so I doubt that it just got trashed. Quick first step will always be a needed badge. When dribbling, it helps you have an explosive first step. Sizing up, it helps you have an explosive first step. Triple threat helps you have an explosive first step. Quick first step is just quick first step. Must have badge. Stop and go. The underrated, like how I said sniper was underrated for sharps. This is the underrated badge for playmakers. Stop and go allows you to stop and go quickly. It was useless probably two years ago. It's finally back and it works. You can stop and go from whatever angle you want to and because you have full control over your player this year and it's no latency. So stop and go is definitely a badge that's 5,000% needed. <clears throat> go, by the way, go. Unpluckable. Plucks are back to how they were in 2K19. Literally, if you stand still, the ball will get taken out of your hand 5,000 times out of 5,000 times. Unpluckable is needed. Last year, it wasn't needed. Courage, and it wasn't needed. I didn't even run it. 20, it was needed to a certain extent because plucks behind were kind of OD. This year, you can probably only get it on gold if you're a playmaker. If you're a center, please just put it on something so you don't get abused. Every position should have unpluckable on because the, the back taps, the front taps, the side taps, taking the ball out of somebody's hand is so OP this year. Unpluckable is a mismatch expert for playmakers. Like, you need the badge. Sorry you can't get it off unless you make a 5'10 Nate Robinson demigod, but please put it on goal. Maybe it'll save. The way unpluckable basically works is... Their pickpocket is on Hoff, your unpluggable is on gold. If it's a tier lower or the same tier, you won't get abused. But the problem with it is, defenders can get Hoff pickpocket and you can't get Hoff unpluggable if you make a good build. So it's gold. So you still get abused to a certain extent, but it, it, it saves you a little bit more. But if your your unpluggable is on silver and they have Hoff pickpocket, you're done. But must have badge. Break starter for all big men. Point guards, you never need this because bullet is capable for it. Centers and power forwards off rebounds. Break starter helps with amazing catches. I haven't seen a bad catch for anybody who has Hall of Fame break starter. Must have. Downhill. Has not been a good badge in a long time. But put it on this year because for some reason, if you've ever got the ball and tried to push the tempo, your player, like, stops for a good second. So, downhill. You just have it on bronze. Handles for days, must needed badge. If you dribble the ball at all and you don't want to be gasping for air like your fat Albert before he did the race or after the race when he tried to prove his man's wrong that he could win this race, you need this badge. Must have, no explanation needed. Post playmaker, another underrated badge. If you are a center, there is now a badge for you to pass the ball quickly after an offensive rebound. This is this is an amazing badge, like, because it works, but it's needed. It's literally needed on silver. You cannot get a rebound and kick the ball out without having post playmaker. S tier must needed badge. Space creator, if you run difficult shots, you might as well put this on. A lot of people don't use this, though. Not a must have at all. Tight handles, silver, minimum. When you're sizing up the people now, like doing your misdirections or you're doing your size ups, you're going this way, you're going that way. You're gonna need this badge this year. That's just how it's gonna go. So, yeah, definitely put it on, 150%. <clears throat> Lastly, let's get to defensive badges. I don't have all of them, so I have to go off the top of my head. Boom, ball stripper. Bronze is all you need. 
it's a timing thing. You can literally get an animation every time. You might get a file, but you can get an animation every single time. Will I say must need it? No, but if you put it on bronze, it does work. 150%. Off ball pest never works. Useless. Hasn't worked ever. They have slippery off ball, you have off ball pest. It doesn't matter. Because nobody's going to. It only triggers if you go right stick your man. Otherwise, you're not right. If you're not pushing your right stick into him, it doesn't work. Hustler. Long rebounds, pluck tips, loose balls in any way, shape, or form. If the ball is in nobody's possession, Hustler makes your speed go up so you get the ball first. Huff or gold is needed if you are a defensive person. If you're like a guard, just get it on like silver. It speeds you up to get long rebounds, plucks where you throw the ball out to half court and y'all are on the chase off like that drill that you used to do in AAU or high school where y'all used to just, coach would just roll the ball and you go die for it. You won't have to die. It's just gonna be a full on sprint and that's what this badge is for. Must have badge. Pickpocket. The most OP badge on the game right now for defenders, and I know most lockdowns are happy because it finally works. It hasn't worked in God knows how long. It finally works. Works works, like it's actually a good badge. Like I explained for unpluggable, pickpocket, as long as your pickpocket here is higher than their unpluggable, you can take the ball out of their hands 95% of the time. It's not a timing thing, it's not a skill gap thing. Press square, you take the ball out of their hand. They get it off. We don't get half unpluckable. So yes, locks. Just get pickpocket and just spam square. You're so good. Jeez. Interceptor. Lanes are surprisingly OP this year. So OP that you don't need to go over silver. No matter what build you are, you don't need to go over silver. Silver is the highest you need for interceptor. If you put it on Hall of Famer, go. You're just going to tip the ball, which has been a problem in past two Ks. But silver is all you need for interceptor, period, because the lanes are that OP. No matter what size you are. You could be 5'5 five five and put silver interceptor on. I bet you get a lane. That's just how it goes right now. Pogo stick. I've heard it's back working-ish because the way you get pump faked in the paint when centers are trying to mash you is fluent. So I heard it does work. So pogo stick could probably get put on bronze again. I don't think it's as OD as it was on 20, but it's not unusable if you run out of badge points. Chase down artist. One of the best badges on the game. You literally can give up a free rim run every single play and you chase down like LeBron did Iggy and every other player who was a victim to LeBron's punching their stuff off the backboard. When he said, get that sh shot out of here. Shout out to Scott. But, like, that's literally all it is. You punch it off the backboard. Chase down. Needed badge. Silverish. Ankle braces. It's not as needed as it was 21, but... You can put it on like bronze or silver and see what it is. I haven't got to test it because I'm not locked down. So that's up to lockdowns to determine what ankle braces does. Ankle braces didn't work last year. The higher you put it on, the more you got ankle broken. So I don't know if it's still the same this year. Box. Everybody knows what box is. It's only must needed for centers and power forwards. Everybody else, you shouldn't have box on. Unless you're probably a sharp coming out the corner and pro M. And you want to box out. Bronze is all it's needed on just so it can pop up. Brick wall, we know what brick wall is. You know who it's needed for. No explanation needed. Clamps, clamps. It's the bass that's supposed to get you bumps. The bumps are very advanced this year, so is it needed? Of course. If you can get clamps, you put on clamps on whoever can get it. No explanation needed, must have. D leader, that's floor general, but for defense, must have if you're a power forward or center. Menace. Menace is a new badge in this game, basically, where their attributes go down when you guard them. It's like defensive stopper from 2K19, but a little bit better. So, must have 5,000%. Pick Dodger. Works this year. Gets you through the screens, and you just slide off of them like you're stuck in oil. Must have. Most of the defensive badges this year are must have because they finally work. Post lockdown. If you're going versus a post score, you put it on, he's useless. Must have. Rebound chaser, no explanation needed. Must have. Rim protector, no explanation needed. Must have. Tyler's defender, useless. Worm, if you put it on silver, I believe it starts to get initiated, So, but I wouldn't say it's must have. So there right there was me giving you my complete breakdown. Sorry the video was so long. But I need to give y'all a complete breakdown of what badges work in every single category, what's OP, and what's the meta for everything. And I just gave you that. So, that's all y'all need from me. Y'all want the splash knowledge? I gave it to you. Make sure y'all drop a like, comment, retweet, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. I stream every single day, Splash Edition. I love every single one of y'all. Peace!